everybody, it is April here with another tutorial using Silhouette Studio Business Edition. I can't figure out if it's version 3 or version 4. It says Studio 3, but then I think when you go ahead and download the software, it's really version 4, but it's the new version of Silhouette Studio. I'm using the business edition, but there isn't anything that I am doing today that you shouldn't be able to do in, I believe, any version, even the free version of Silhouette Studio. So what I want to do, I've been seeing some sentiments that are in a circular motion. So I wanted to go over today how to make your sentiments circular or on a curve, and then that's about it. So let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to use the shape tool and it is a menu icon on the left hand side and I'm going to be using the oval and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually draw an oval or an ellipse. So to do that I just take my mouse, click, hold down and there I have my ellipse. Now in order to get my words I'm going to click the text icon. I'm going to be using all capitals. Oops, no, I'm not. Now I am. And I am ready for Christmas, so I'm going to be typing Merry Christmas. And if I want to change the font, all I would do is move my mouse here until it becomes what looks like a cursor, and then click and drag backwards to highlight all that text. Then I would go over on the right hand side and open the text style panel. And that will bring up what font this is currently in, which evidently my default is Lucidia Grand. And if I wanted to change this, then I can just scroll through and pick other fonts. And, ooh, okay, I'm going with that one. I like LD Bubbly. LD stands for something and I don't remember what. All right, so now I've got my font, I've got my words, I've got my oval. I happen to click outside of my text so there's nothing around it. If I click on the text, this is not going to put me in a position where I can make my Merry Christmas form to my ellipse. So what I have to do is I have to double click that text box or within the text there and th essentially what you're trying to gain from that is this little plus sign box so I'm going to grab that plus sign and I'm going to drag it over to my ellipse and there I have my Merry Christmas and it has grabbed my ellipse so if I click outside right here now when I grab the Merry Christmas the ellipse is attached so what I want to do is I don't in this particular instance I don't want the ellipse to be included with my Merry Christmas I just want my Merry Christmas to be curved so that we're going to going to separate separate those two in a minute in the meantime I want to double click and there's this little slider here and when you go over the top of the slider and your mouse looks like a pointer and arrows, you can click on that slider and you can move your Merry Christmas up and you can move your Merry Christmas back. And it's actually pulling it closer together and further apart when you do that. See if you come up here, well it only lets you go so far. So anyway that's what that little slider is for. Now will that slider make it separate from my ellipse? No, it's still connected. So what I want to do is I want to click on my Merry Christmas then I'm going to right click and I'm going to say convert to path and what that does is it separates my Merry Christmas from the ellipse and this is just Merry Christmas now. Now if I double click on this I can't get back to where I can change it, like change the text. That uh, When you convert it to a path, then you're past the point of being able to modify the font that you have. And then I can click my ellipse, 
and there I have my Merry Christmas on an angle. Now the other thing I wanted to do was I want Merry Christmas, but I want it in a circle. And so I'm going to clip, click my shape tool. I'm going to click my ellipse, but this time I'm going to hold my shift key down when I make my ellipse and then it will force it to be a circle. So I'm going to make it a circle. And there's my, whoops, and I don't have my shape tool set to where it automatically goes back to an arrow when I'm done. So that's why it kept trying to draw things. All right, um, let's make that a little smaller. And again, I want Merry Christmas. I hope I can find that font again. I'm going to go to my text, click inside my mat. This is the best way that I found to do it. There are probably other ways, but this is the way that works for me. Again, I want all caps. And I don't really want it to be that big, but let's see if I can resize it. Okay, then I'm going to drag backwards and I'm gonna go back over here and it was LD, was it LD bubbly? Let's see, LD bubbly. Okay, because I think that font is really cute. And actually using that font made the Merry Christmas small enough that I am happy with that size. <laughs> Yay. All right, so now I'm going to take my plus sign. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna drag and there it gets attached to my circle. And I'm gonna drag it down here so that I can see what I'm doing. And I can't decide if I want Merry Christmas twice or once. I'm going to say twice. Let's see what happens when I duplicate. All right, so here I've got a duplication now. Can I double click on it? Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Merry Christmas and I'm going to drag it over here. So there I've got a Merry Christmas on the top. Oops, double click in there. So is, as long as I double click and I use this circle with the pointers, then I'm good. Now I'm going to go over here to my character spacing and I'm going to space it out a little. Mm, that's a little too much. And then I'm going to click this Merry Christmas. I'm going to double click it again so that I still have control over my font and line spacing and character spacing. And I'm going to make my character spacing a little more so that the letters are further apart and it kind of spreads it around the circle. Okay, so there I've got my Merry Christmas all in the circle. And this time, I want to keep my circle. Now, I'm going to zoom in because there are sometimes, see how the R and the circle aren't quite touching? Some of the letters are touching and some of them aren't. So I'm going to double click again so that I can use my slider and move it just a little bitty bit towards the circle. And that's not a little bitty bit. Okay, now I'm going a little too far. Work with me here. And I found, there we go. I got a little more control this time. Not much. I'm sliding too far. Okay. Ah. Okay, I'm going to undo and undo <laughs> and undo. Because I want it to go just a little bit I'm having trouble here for some reason I don't have near the control and I'm sure it's me I keep moving my mat instead of moving what I'm trying to move and in order to get like if I try to click here or here when my mouse is just a pointer I can't get a hold of that slider I have to wait until my arrow becomes the arrow plus the plus sign. And I'm trying to ever so slightly move it. Okay, I think that's, I'm gonna be happy with that. 
because essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Merry Christmas and I'm going to weld it to the circle and I want there to be an overlap otherwise my Merry Christmas won't attach itself to the circle all right so I'm good with that Merry Christmas I'm gonna scroll down here a little and I'm using a magic mouse and I think that's why I have such a hard time because I'm not really in control of my magic mouse and I'm gonna move just try again ever so slightly okay and I think I'm gonna be happy with that too all right so now I've got my circle overlapping or my Merry Christmas overlapping my circle so I'm going to click this plus sign so that I can get my mat centered again and then I'm going to put boxes around all of that and I'm going to weld it together so what happens is I keep my circle and my Merry Christmas is attached so I can print this out not print it out I can cut this out and then use it on my card this is what I have pictured in my mind and then put something in the center of it and I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna put in the center but that was the whole purpose of this exercise so I hope this was helpful uh, you can also use the other shapes and you can use any shape that you make not just the shapes from the shape tool and then use that circle with a plus sign in the middle remember you have to double click your text and then once you see that circle with the plus sign in the middle you're good to go there was something that I saw uh oh uh oh okay oh I'm still on my circle I'm still on my shape because again I clicked that shape and I haven't set up my default to automatically once I've made a shape go back to the pointer I'm gonna click escape so I can get out of the shape off the shape merry-go-round and I want to I'm gonna make an ellipse I want to test something out real quick I don't know how it's gonna work uh, let's do happy birthday I know y'all are already tired of Christmas and it hasn't even gotten here yet see I have absolutely no control over my mat I don't know why because it's a magic mouse and I'm no good with magic okay so I'm gonna click outside of this and then I'm gonna make a hand and click in the box and here's a plus sign here and I don't know if that works the same way yeah see I don't even know what this thing does okay so I was thinking maybe it would do the same thing as the plus sign with the circle around it when I double clicked but it does not so I'm clicking escape I don't know what that does I'll have to figure it out and then I'll share it with you all so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you would like more content like this please subscribe so you don't miss anything and you all have a great Halloween and if it's not Halloween anymore have a great day